Mm-hmm. So, Orlando, I always am curious with this. When you go to the finals and <clears throat> you guys had that kind of, not miracle run, but it kind of came out of nowhere where, where mm-hmm. the magic popped up because it was a lot of LeBron and the Celtics at that oh, yeah, point LeBron, in time. The, the yeah. Celtics, yeah. The, the, the Lakers. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, so yeah. when you get to the finals, do you think at that point in your career, oh, I'll be back here a ton, and then you know, now did. look back and say, shit. I did, man. I was like, man, this is what it feel like. I was like, man, I want to. I wanted to play here all the time. Like, right. yeah, it's kind of like, it was weird because once you played, there's like, you don't think about the regular season the same. Like, it's just like, ah, oh, that's the regular season because when I get here, this is the real stuff. This is, the, mm-hmm. this is it right here. This is what I want to feel. Like, the atmosphere, man, in Orlando during the playoff series, playing against LeBron in the uh, Eastern Conference Finals, and then playing against the Lakers, it was like, man, it was like something that, I want everybody to be able to experience this. It's like it's like an overwhelming feeling of, you know, like man, I really accomplished something for this city. Yeah, right. you guys had mm-hmm. a really good team then too. It was uh, you, you had Turkaloo on the outside, right? Turkaloo, uh, Rashad, Rashad Amir yeah, Nelson. Was Jameer. You had yeah. Jameer was hurt. Reddick and um, the guys who played a lot was Anthony Johnson mm-hmm. and um, Skip to my Lou. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yep, Rayford. Mm. So Those guys made it happen. You guys had had quite a squad then. I remember watching you uh, handle LeBron and the Cavaliers at that point. I was like, this is a really good team. And you guys kind of changed the way a lot of teams approach basketball. Having, oh, yeah. Like, stocked outside shooters everywhere. Oh, man. So they dish the ball to you, collapse the defense, kick it out, nail a three. Mm-hmm. It was a pretty simple formula, but it worked. Uh, it also seemed at that time that you had – Kind of a, a real rivalry with LeBron. Oh yeah, based oh, out yeah. of that series. So was that all friendly on the court, or was there actually like some underlying animosity? Like I want to show. Nah. The world. Well, I mean, obviously when you're playing, you know, you always want to be the best player on the floor, and uh, you know, I love LeBron. I think everything he's done as a basketball player and a man, a father, and all that stuff has been amazing. So, you know, I'm very happy to see the success uh, that LeBron has. Um, but on the court, it's like I hate him. You know, mm-hmm. I, want, I want I want to kill him. I want to beat him every time. You know, what I'm saying it's like I, I be so angry because I'm like I want I want to I, I be there. I want to I want to beat him tonight. And you know, it's it's a good it's a feeling that you're supposed to have uh, as a competitor. Like nobody's better than you when you step on that floor. Right. So mm-hmm. the ending in Orlando got a little awkward. Oh man. Do you still talk to Stan Van Gundy? Have you talked to him? When I see him, we do communicate. Okay. Um, what was going? That was one of the most awkward press conferences I've ever. It was, but yeah. you know, I really think a lot of people got it mixed up as though like you know, me and Stan had some type of beef. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he said know, that. Yeah, he did yeah, say I yeah, wanted him fired, was awkward, and, I, and yeah. it just it caught me off guard because I was like, you know, that's something that you know I, I never said. You know, um, I think Stan's a great coach, and I think he uh, he did an amazing job with the team that we had in Orlando, and. Uh, I was never upset at the uh, at that, you know, but you know, I just felt like my time was up in Orlando mm-hmm. and I wanted to go somewhere else. You know, it had nothing to do with the fans or the city or the team. Um, you know, I just was too comfortable. Yeah. And you know, sometimes in life when you're too comfortable, you got to get out of your own comfort zone to grow. And you know, that was all I wanted, you know, and you know, I made a lot of mistakes as a player, person or whatever, but you know, I don't regret any decision that I made. Uh, Because it's got me to a great point in my life right now. What about the Sports Illustrated uh, cover with Steve Nash? That's regrettable. (laughs) I mean, Uh, that was one of, obviously, there was a lot of hype when you come to L.A., they get Steve Nash, mm -hmm. it's Kobe, Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, not so much. Well, you know, I just think uh, injury stopped our team from being as successful as we could have been. And it was rough, you know, me coming Mm -hmm. off back surgery, uh, Powell getting injured. Meta World Peace getting injured, uh, Steve Nash being out half the season. You know, it was it was kind of like man, nobody was 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 healthy that year. And then at the end of the year, Kobe got hurt, and um, it just kind of went down here from there. I want to jump back real quick to you and Stan. Who had mm-hmm. better handles, Stan <laughs> or Skip Ooh. Malou? Ooh, Ooh. a hey, Stan chunky yeah. ass to dribble that yeah, ball. Yeah, he can. <laughs> he has that little got, spin move. Yeah, that yeah, spin move. Yeah, and then he got wide shoulders, too. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Stan got some handles, bro. It's he's crazy. smooth. Yeah. Stan is smooth. He uh, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to get you with the hazy step back. I'm like, yo. <laughs> he's uh, nice. He's nice. You got some wide shoulders. Can, can you touch both sides of the van at the same time? Easily. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, easily. Easily. One of the things that I was I was really happy for you during your career when you went back to Orlando. I think you were on the Lakers, mm-hmm. and uh, they fouled you a shit ton. They just hacked the fuck out of you. Mm-hmm. And I think you shot sixteen for twenty from the line against them. Mm-hmm. That must have felt pretty good. Uh it was cool. It was I mean, cool. How, how, it, it was cool. Uh, it was. I just hated going back to hearing all the people that you know was cheering my name. You know. You know, coming to the game just to, you know, say, you know, crazy things. Like, I have relationships with a lot of these people, you know. And, you know, a lot of people are just upset because I decided to do something for myself. Right. You know. Yeah, but uh, you got to understand we're fans. So, we I, under- I, you know, I, I, I understand that. Love booing. Yeah, that's cool, boo, you know. Boo, that's boo, right. snakes, you know, boo, 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 snakes, yeah, boo. I, yeah, like I said, snakes it don't so. bother me. <laughs> it don't bother me now, but it's just. You know, it's just people that it's just like if you saw him, you know, you like, hey, fuck, you know, yeah, fuck you, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah, yeah. all the time. Fuck you, big yeah, cat. Fuck you, man. Piece of shit. That's our I'm producer, like, Hank. 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 Say it to Hank. 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 Fuck you, Hank. Yeah. Hank. Yeah. 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 Say it, what? Yeah. yeah, fuck you, Hank. Well, then fuck you, Hank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, it feels really that feel good. really good. But Y'all look crazy. What I was saying, like, I what I like more than anything is when a team does the the hack a shack for you know it could be against anybody. If they make those shots, I love it because the look on the coach's face is like, I spent uh, all my game plan. Yeah, time that's a game plan. They're like, just like shit, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, no more fouling. Yeah, leave yeah. them alone. Then yeah. you always have one teammate who didn't hear coach say that, and they come foul again. Uh-huh. So it's like, yeah, got I-, I got you.